Consider this. You have a REST API and you want to configure your Amazon API gateway to pass query string parameters to a backend AWS Lambda function. And on top of this, you want the deployed API to be accessible from anywhere on the internet. Is it even possible? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give your function a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create, then navigate to the code source section. Inside the Lambda handler, I'm going to add a print statement to print our event, then hit deploy to deploy our changes. Click on the test button to configure our test event, give it a name, then scroll down to the event JSON section. Here, I'm going to create two key value pairs, one for first name and the second one for last name, then hit save. Click on the test button to execute your Lambda function and confirm that you see your event printed in the execution logs. Next, I'm going to create two variables, first name and last name, to capture the first name and last name respectively from our event. Next, let's update our return statement so it looks something like my name is Bond, James Bond. Next, hit the deploy button, then click on test to execute our Lambda function and confirm that the response is looking as expected. Now that our Lambda function is done, let's navigate to the API Gateway service, then click on Create API. Hit Build in the REST API section, give your API a name, then hit the Create button. Click on Create method from the Actions dropdown, then select Get. Leave the integration type to Lambda function, then pick the Lambda function that we just created, then hit save. Go inside the method request, then click on add query string under the URL query string parameters section. Let's add our two parameters here, first name and last name, and mark them as required. Next, let's go inside integration request and scroll down to the mapping template section. Select the recommended option, then click on add mapping template, then type application slash JSON. In the template editor, I'm going to copy paste this code from this AWS post. Let's replace pet with first name and add another line for last name so we can capture both the first name and last name variables. Hit save, then go back to the method execution screen and click on test. For query strings, I'm going to add first name equal to James and last name equal to Bond, then hit test. Our response body looks as expected, which means it's time to deploy our API. Head to the Actions dropdown, then click on Deploy API. Let's create a new deployment stage for our API and call it QA, then hit deploy. Next, copy the invoke URL and paste it in the Postman software. Don't forget to add your query string parameters at the end of the URL, then hit send. Finally, confirm your response body looks as expected. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the Amazon API gateway become a stand-up comedian?